there is uh, an HD version of this little video that will be uploaded soon, but uh, before I do that, because it'll take some time, this is just a quickie of uh, the Willy Miniatures Yeti uh, that I painted. I really enjoyed the model. Um, I tried various different things, you know, the metal on the shoulder pad to not just highlight it randomly, but try and highlight the bits that would gleam, you know, uh, in a kind of modular way that metal does, you know, not across the whole thing, but just kind of in the bits that caught the light. Um, in terms of overbrushing, I did the same uh, in that, you know, white only went to the absolute top bits facing light. Um, the flesh is dark earth flesh. I, I was going to kind of do his sort of tummy and face a lighter colour and then realised it was just a lot of work for no obvious purpose. Um, and the other big uh, change in terms of painting style uh, was that I, I realised that I was applying paint too thickly and so um, this should just... Uh, I, I tried to add more water to make it more like sort of milk and then just paint more than one layer. Uh, and, and to make sure I painted all the bits rather than just painting the interesting bits um, leaving others undeveloped so uh, in that respect it is a bit is a bit different and then that little thrower down there or catcher is there to give you a sense of of scale I mean the Willy Miniatures stuff is um, very creative uh, and the casting is decent but um, you know the, the modelling is not very detailed this is definitely one of the better ones but uh, it's kind of almost 1980s kind of Games Workshop level uh, casting rather than even 1990s as a comparison. But it was good fun, and I hope they keep going. 15 euros.